My name is Captain Hap Farrell. I run the Stun Mike 2 out of Rock Harbor here on Cape Cod out of Orleans. And one of the things I specialize in is light tackle. You're going to be seeing some of it used right here. These were rogue rods that I rebuilt with a um, spiral wrap to make it easier on the customer. And there you see a nice big bluefish being taken. Um, next, you're going to see the, those rods being used again here. Um, again, on some pretty good sized bluefish. And, uh, um, you know, they, they were a lot of fun. Now you're going to see those rods being used on some stripers. This was uh, taken in May of uh, 2018, I believe. And, you know, there were small fish, small keepers, but you can see the action of the rod. On this trip, I have two young ladies plus one of their boyfriends along. And uh, we started out with a lighter gear, working in an area, and we caught some small fish here. And then we went up by the path and we set out hoochies on some moderately light gear and you'll see some nice being, nice fish being caught with this. And then we turned, um, we turned to the jigging wires. Now that was the light action jigging wires. They're, they're, the rods have to have a certain stiffness to them in order for the jig to work right. But uh, this is right on the border of where it's too light to jig, but it still gives you a lot of nice action. And a younger person can have fun with this gear and not get worn out or beaten up by it. This trip was the ultimate trip. I had my mate, Emily, a friend of mine, Fran, and Emily's two cousins on the boat. And we started out using the lightweight jigging wires, as you can see here. Uh, the, the two kids there, Brendan and, and uh, Stephanie, both caught nice big fish using the, the lighter jigging rods with a lighter line on them. And then Emily started out with my 12-pound test uh, lead core lines on the tube and worm. And you'll see the fish that she got. Now, I had just built those rods that winter. And uh, so she's trying them out here uh, on her own for the first time. And from what she said, she really, really enjoyed them. And then after that, Fran tried it out. Now, Fran's been working at a local uh, tackle shop for years. And if there's somebody who knows tackle and fishing, it's Fran. And he, too, liked it. Now, I'm making this stuff available to my customers if they so desire and the fishing is going to work that way. Uh, I hope that it does this coming season because it's a lot more fun to use than the heavier tackle. Mm -hmm.